We know very well that the Turkish Kangal is a dog with excellent temperamental qualities, great physical power and high resistance to extreme climates, traditionally used for guarding merino sheep herds and for dog fighting in Turkey. Due to the great fame and high physical qualities of this mountain type molosser, it has begun to generalize on social networks, web forums and WhatsApp groups that the Kangal is the dog with the greatest bite force of all dog breeds, which is not true because there are breeds anatomically better equipped to exert bite forces higher than the one that the Turkish Kangal can develop. The breed standard defines the Kangal as a large, upright, powerfully built dog with a black mask and sand-colored skin that allows it to blend with sheep of the flock it guard. Capable of achieving great speed when reacting to the incursions of the Turkish wolf. The Kangal is a robust Molossian type dog. Its body is compact and rectangular in shape and is covered with coarse, medium length hair. It can reach a height at the vitres of 78 cm and the weight of 60 kg. Surfing the web, you can find publications where they report on the bite force of the Kangal. There is one in particular where they begin by describing the German Shepherd and place its bite force as 328 psi. Then they describe other breeds such as Siberian Husky with 320 psi, Rottweiler with a maximum of 328 psi, Leon Berger with 399 psi, Dogo Canario and Argentino with 500 and 540 psi respectively, English Mastiff and Tosaino with 556 psi, American Bandog with 730 psi and finally the Turkish Kangal with the bite force of 143 psi. On this website they notify that the published information come from specialized sites, but when reviewing these Rotterdam sites it can be seen in the same way that they do not provide any source to support their publication. In other cases, some links are provided that point to the works and studies of several relevant authors on the subject, but these works do not deal in any way or deliver results on the bite force of the Kangal. Therefore, there are not valid references to support the statement that the Kangal is the breed of dog with the greatest bite force in the world. As I explained in my previous video, which you can find in the link above, there are several anatomical conditions in dogs that determine their bite force. These conditions are, for example, weight, age, grip training, sex, motivation, and mainly the geometry of the liver system and the cranial facial structure, which determine the size of the abductor muscles responsible for closing the jaws and applying force, bite force. Different experimental works carried out by various authors, such as Hall 1983, Highlander 1986, Highlander and Johnson 1992, Vernon and Antonishin 1996, Ross and Highlander 1996, and Lieberman and Stedman in 2004 have shown that there is a close relationship between craniofacial morphology and contraction forces of the masticatory muscles. The movements of the temporal mandibular joint are controlled by muscles, among which are muscle muscles, this is responsible for the elevation of the jaw and clutches to teeth, temporal muscle that is responsible for raising and retracting the mandible by moving the maxilla to the same side as chewing, and the lateral pterygoid and medial pterygoid muscle which help to elevate the jaw and control jaw movements more precisely. The temporal mandibular joint constitutes a third degree lever because the power is located between the point of support and the resistance. 
The bite force at the molar location is considerably higher than the canine according to the predictions of the liver models, which is not surprising given that the liver arm is longer from the joint to the canine. All this supports the thesis that short or brachycephalic skulls with large masseters can exert greater bite force compared to longer or mesocephalic skulls with less voluminous masseters. It must also be taken into account that evolutional adaptations have made the molars in some species, such as the spotted hyena, closer to power and can therefore exert very high bite forces capable of crushing bones. Not the bones of a rabbit, but the solid, dense human bones of an antelope, zebra or wild beast. For the reasons mentioned above, breeds such as Cairn Corso and the English Mastiff have significant anatomical advantages to excel great bite force of a breed such as Bull Kutta or the Turkish Kanga, among others.